I can. Oh, we nailed it, Vicky. Oh, we did. Jeez, we're good. Um, now, hello, everyone. It is now 6.31, and I've been looking forward to having this conversation today. You might be wondering why we're breathing a sigh of relief right now, because until about 28 seconds ago, uh, we had no audio from the wonderful Vicky all the way in South Australia. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the reason um, uh, I gather you all here tonight, because uh, it's going to be a bit of fun. I've got a, an amazing lady that um, I, I've asked to be on this, this uh, Facebook Live tonight, uh, simply to share her story. And I'm going to throw to you in a, in a second, uh, Vicky, but right now I'm going to say, look at me because I'm super handsome. So ladies and gentlemen, look, here's what I'd love to do tonight is I just got off the phone with Vicky earlier today and I've got to say I was so impressed with the, the amazing way that Vicky's life has changed. And Here's the bottom line is in my world, I see so many people that are capable of so much, but sadly, um, they do not have the right guidance or perhaps the right support system around them. And so rather than them really achieve what's possible in their world, um, they, they sort of meander along and they are stuck and they largely feel unfulfilled because they know they can achieve so much and yet they don't. And so I asked Vicky at very short notice um, if she would mind coming on tonight and just sharing a bit of her journey that she's only just starting, by the way, uh, with uh, my raving fans, which is you, uh, to, to just, uh, I'd love to ask her a couple of questions about her journey so far, because I feel it's going to relate a lot to many of you that are watching tonight. So with that, uh, Vicky, welcome aboard. And again, thank you for uh, joining me tonight and sharing your story. So how are you, Vicky? Hi, Ian. I'm really well, thank you. Oh, great. Well, <clears throat> now... Part of this world we're in right now, um, obviously, we're doing Facebook Live. And uh, just for everyone out there, uh, I want you all to know the technology that I'm using. It's pretty cool. It's called BeLive.TV. It's very, very economical, uh, but it's a really cool program to use, as you can see, um, those of you that are watching us right now. So, look, tonight, um, what I'd love to do, Vicky, if it's okay with you, is is just share a little bit of the journey that you've taken so far on um, the the world of you becoming a, a business advisor and and more learning how to be more street smart in how you're approaching things. And so with your permission, I'd love to ask you a couple of questions about uh, the story so far and how the game is changing for you. Is that okay? Oh, beautiful. So tell us, Vicky, um, you you uh, got, I guess, the idea in your head, a very smart one, to become a street smart business advisor. But can I ask you, what motivated you to actually start uh, seeking me out and, and learning more about how to become a, a business consultant? Um, well, I recently moved to South Australia and, and uh, bought a coffee van, uh, the People vs Coffee, and moved mm -hmm. to Canada in the Barossa Valley. Um, but I found that I um, was struggling a little bit and um, really needed some help and some incentive because I felt that uh, I wasn't getting anywhere and I was uh, just needed needed some advice, I suppose. So I, I started looking online and I come across some of your, um, your Facebook chats and something about you resonated with me and I felt that um, you were somebody that I could talk to and you'd help me out. So that's why right. I rang you. And uh, it was obviously my debonair good looks and charm. Would that be right? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I'll, I'll pay you later for that one. Um, now, um, so, you know, obviously now, again, I, I want to just um, touch base on your coffee van for those people because, well, I know we've got fans in South Australia. Tell me the name of your coffee van. It's the People versus Coffee and we're out in um, the Barossa Valley. Oh, that's beautiful country out there. My wife comes from there, uh, Vicky, so it really is blessed country. So 
So, okay, you made the call. We had a conversation and uh, at the time, I know you had a, a few concerns and a few worries. And and what were the um, biggest concerns? Because, I mean, let's face it, it is a, a big decision for you to um, uh, touch. Um, Jake says, can you turn up your volume? So maybe if you put your um, uh, head closer to the microphone or just talk in a lot bigger voice, Vicky, uh, just to um, help these people. And uh, great to hear from you, Jake. But um, so, so what were some of the worries across your mind as you're having a conversation and making a decision whether you should uh, um, uh, learn these consulting skills or not? Vicky? Well, I, I know and you, I realised that... Um that the, the coffee van was going to take me longer than I thought it would to get it up and running to give me a decent income. And I did have some um, residual income coming from my work in WA, but I was just uh, starting to panic a little bit that I wasn't going to have enough income to live off of. So I started looking, um, A, for advice as for, with my business, but also for something else to do. And um, when I saw your, um, your um, Facebook um, videos, it just seemed to be the right thing. You know, I, um, I felt that it could not only help me in my business, but then I could turn around and help other people who are experiencing the same things I have and, um, and to give them some help and advice when you're feeling really down and um, struggling, it's really soul destroying and it's really great to have somebody who can help you out. And yeah. that's what you've done for me. And so I thought it would be something that I could do for other people. Yeah. And uh, again, uh, Vicky, you're, you're a you're a star of a person and uh, i i uh, i knew that when we first started having our conversation together because you, you shared some things with me that, that was between you and i and uh, and and they stay very confidential but but things were a little bit tough for you because you were there on your own and everything was on your shoulders is that right yes that's true i had made the massive decision to move states on my own um something i have done before but not for a very long time. And mm. so I really jumped out of my comfort zone and I was really struggling a little bit and really didn't have a massive amount of support. And and so you invested in this business, this coffee business, and ladies and gentlemen, the margins in coffee, oh, my God. I mean, they're spectacular. So it, it is a really, really high profit margin business and and um however uh, a very common mistake and not just vicky but so many people make this mistake is that they decide to go into business and then they go and try and find a client does that make sense so you know oh let's go into let's let's open a restaurant and then find customers how unwise or unstreet smart is that but but I call it sheep smart thinking because no one ever taught you any different. Okay, so you you get you invest in a, a vehicle, but you didn't know at the time to ask. Well, what's your lead generation system? How do I find my clients, and then uh, how do I keep them coming back? Would that be a fair question, Vicky? Yes, most definitely. I did buy it as a going concern, and I did have some bookings, but not very many. And I had a mm. small list of clients that the previous owners had, but I moved the van from Adelaide to the Barossa, which is 70 odd kilometers. And that 70 kilometers made a massive difference because I wanted to bring the business into the Barossa. So, yeah. um, you know, it was like starting brand new, basically. Yeah. And, and again, ladies and gentlemen, um, this is just simple business investment because, you know, part of my uh, life is buying, building, and selling businesses. That's that's a great way to make a living. And so, uh, whenever you're thinking of investing in any business, um, uh, where it needs to have at least three key criteria. And number one is it must have a proven lead generation system, and it must have a proven sales system so you can convert that lead into a client. And then most importantly, you've got to be able to keep your promises. So if you promise somebody great coffee and you deliver crappy coffee, are they going to invite you back to their premises again, Vicky? Yes or no? Definitely not. Yeah. Well, um, 
And, oh, hey, Harvey, how are you, mate? Harvey's on the call as well. Great to see you, buddy. Um, so so um, that's another very sharp cookie that's done the advisor training, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, please remember that. when you, Whenever you're investing in any sort of business at all, you must ask these three questions of the person, and that is where's your lead generation system, where's your sales system, and where's your delivery system or keep your promises system, okay, at a very minimum. And if you have those three things, then the next thing you need to do is make sure you've got good profit margins in what you offer. So, so okay, so now you, just to re rewind where we're up to, so you decided to go to the Barossa and you, you realised, well, I don't really have a lead generation system and you also realised, well, uh, in fact, when I think I was talking to you, I, I think you had very, very minimal bookings. Was that correct? That is correct, yes. I had next yeah. booking after business. Yeah. yeah, so the so cash flow was a bit tight, let's say, okay? <laughs> Tighter than a frog's bottom. So, so okay, you were facing some challenges and then um, uh, you, you were obviously, you made that decision. You put that trust in me to help provide you the skills so that you could then start to turn this business around. So so what happened? You came over to um, to the Gold Coast, okay, and, and uh, I promised you three things there. I promised that you'd learn about lead generation. I promised you that you'd learn how to do sales. And I promised you how you could improve a business and start getting results for a business owner. Do you remember me saying that to you, Vicky? Yes, you did, that's for sure. Yeah. So... Yeah. So, so did I keep my promises? Yes, most definitely. Um, yeah. I came home with a whole new attitude about how I was going to do things, and that was part of it as well. It was um, thinking about not worrying about where you know the money's going to come from. Worry, uh, think about how you're going to get out there and generate the leads and, and and then turn them into sales. And that's kind of exactly what I did. The same day I came home, I um, went out to see one of the wineries that I had spoken to once on the phone and ended up having uh, a booking a, a couple of um, events with them. And I ha now have ongoing business with them. And every time they have an event, I, I'm out there and I'm about once a month, I turn up on a Saturday at their cellar door and so it works exceptionally well for both of us uh, so that's that was the first thing I did when I got home and they were really really happy to have me and we had a, a you know we having we do have a really nice relationship and then it's just sort of you know a lot of other things that uh, Ian had said to me to do was to to start thinking about um, how I'm going to get out there. In the Barossa, they're a little parochial here, which is very nice. And um, it's slightly old fashioned. So um, talking and and having a face to to speak to instead of just the phone works exceptionally well here. So I've done yeah. a lot of work talking to wineries and, and uh, local businesses, and that's, it really has helped. And it's just now, a couple of months on, it's really starting to um, ramp up and people are starting to recognise the van and um, have heard good things about me I heard today um, which is really nice and that my coffee is really lovely and um, that uh, I think like I've put in place the money back guarantee that, that Ian uh, suggested and um, people are appreciative of that. Um, I've also donated to a local charity now, um, one of the primary schools here, people are impressed with that as well. And um, it's just, I think my attitude has changed entirely. So, so, and it's, I gather it's most probably noticeable to my customers because um, I get return custom and from you know, clients that want me back. And um, there's always comments about um, the coffee and the service and, and, um, the happy faces, me and, and my friend that helps me out. So it's really nice. I love the feedback. Yeah. Yeah. And and again, now for those individuals that oh, we're getting some feedback here. I wonder what that's from. Um, have you got your Facebook open, like a Facebook page, perhaps, Vicky? No? I don't think it's all good now, I think. It's all good now. 
But um, so here's what I wanted to cover off on. And uh, in fact, you, you've just touched on it, but this is where, quite honestly, um, most of the amazing transformations happen with the students that I train. And that is, even though I believe that I've developed some of the best consulting systems on the planet, lead generation, sales, and, and business optimization, yeah. the key impact that I feel I have with my clients that I train is the way that you start thinking. Yeah. Instead of thinking, I can't, we start transferring it and saying, how can I? How can I do this? How can I do that? You know, of course I can do this. I'm as good as anybody else. And, and I have to say, Vicky, you are not the same person today that you were when you walked in my, what is that, only eight or nine weeks ago, isn't it? Yeah, it was the middle of January, so yeah. So yeah, ago. middle of January. So you've totally transformed, even in, you got that smile on your face and you've got that confidence in your voice and, and I'm just so happy that things are going well for you. And, and again, just to give people an idea and, uh, and I'll be straight up, it's coming from a fairly low base. But would it be fair to say that your income now has improved hundreds of percent simply because you started implementing some of the things that we uh, we shared with you in the training, Vicky? Oh, definitely. If I hadn't mm. have, uh, done a lot of those things, um, loan to the bank to get a generator up and running, that's coming into fruition now, um, doing the money back guarantees and, and the donations, all those things sort of work in, together to um, to have improved my income and also the fact that you know uh, how to approach a client and um, talk to them and uh, speak, you know talk to them on the phone or email them and just my whole attitude change getting up earlier in the morning doing oh good on you Vicky yes those habits those success habits fantastic um, and and now you've also you're starting to make really good connections as well, aren't you, with the business community in there, the networking side of things? Um, I'm um, actually going to. I've been accepted at the globe, with Global Publishing to um, write a book about uh, my coffee van and me. And it's called oh, the yeah. So um, that's happening this year. So, and that's really uh, I've met some amazing people going to the workshops um, with Darren Stevens, um, a friend of yours, and uh, you put you put me um, in uh, contact with him. It was wonderful. And yeah. uh, I'm, I've, I've come and I've met a couple of people from South Australia who are really up and going and one's written, already written a book. Another another lady is um, writing a book um, with me. We, we talk quite often. It's really amazing. And it's so yeah. uplifting. And when I'm feeling a little down, I just need to speak to them. And it really helps to have somebody who is, uh, you know, up and going and getting up there and, and it really, really helps and it's very uplifting for me. Yeah. So, so uh, 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 just a little sidebar again for everyone watching. Uh, one of the things that I say to all of my students, um, I actually have one here and... Let me just always practice what I preach. So just a few of my students that have trained me. So here's one of my latest books, The Inconvenient Truth About Business Success. Um, very good friend of mine, Basil Nuruddin. Um, another advisor, Happy Wife, Happy Life. Um, another advisor, Simon Bowen, Revealed the Ultimate Success Blueprint. Another advisor, the wow factor and i uh, i love this lady irene she's a world-class copywriter now as well she makes an incredible living as a copywriter why have and i've got many more why have so many of my advisors written their own books well it's such a powerful positioning tool ladies and gentlemen uh, you're an instant expert and authority and uh, it is a great great tool so so look um uh, just in closing, Vicky, and again, I, I thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us tonight. What would you say to anyone that was considering doing the advisor training and, and learning these skills that I've been sharing with you? You got any thoughts for them? I do. Do it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh. is, um, 
amazing. He is so uplifting and so positive. You can't go wrong, really. Uh, yeah. Even if it's just if you do it just for your own business, but you know, preferably you do it to to run to to become a consultant. Um, it it is invaluable the 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 um, the amount of information and advice that you have given, and all that I've learned has been invaluable in my own my my existing business as well, and yeah. it has really helped. Not to, and me personally as well as as in my business for sure. So thank you, Ian. Yeah. Oh, my pleasure, Vicky. And I just saw another amazing lady join us. Thu, how are you? A another success story. Um, I'm so proud of you as well, Thu, and the things you've already done um, in, in your world. And if anybody wants a great accountant in Perth, um, Total Care Accounting. Go and say hello to Thu over there, all right? But um, again, one last plug. Um, now, I'm going to get this right. So the people versus coffee, is that right? The people versus coffee, okay? So make sure you, well, I can't spell, obviously, but the people, okay? But um, you got the idea. Um, and uh, so that's where you want to go. Anyone in the Barossa, give Vicky a call and uh, you'll get the best coffee on the planet, guaranteed. Um, again, thanks very much, uh, Vicky, for joining us. And uh, Thu, Harvey, Jake, everyone, take care, and uh, I'll catch you next week. Bye, guys. Thanks, Ian. Bye.